A Missouri judge is expected to decide this week if the state's voter ID law will stand. And tonight's legal lens, Fox 2's Jeff Bernthal asked Brown and Crouppen attorney Andrea McNary about the current law and what issues are being debated. Andrea, with the current uh, Missouri voter ID law, I guess, what are some of the acceptable forms of ID when a voter heads to the polls? Well, this is the real issue too. It's non-expired forms of voter of photo IDs. So a valid passport, military ID, uh, driver's license, non-driver's license, or any other photo ID issued by the United States or, or the state of Missouri. And if you don't have one of those uh, forms, what, what happens next? So you can still cast a provisional vote. Um, that day and one of two things needs to happen after that one you need to go back up to your polling place with your photo ID a valid photo ID for your vote to count or um, it can be determined by the end of the voting period that uh, your voter registration signature matches your provisional ballot signature and what uh, I guess are some of the uh, issues being debated currently on this case that a judge will eventually decide so again, the big sticking point is the, the valid photo ID part. Um, you know, DMV offices have shut down, wait times have gotten long, and uh, opponents of this new, uh, you know, requirements of voting say that uh, the obstacles to actually getting an ID from the DMV, whether it be a driver's license or non-driver's license, are very hard to meet, especially for people that maybe don't drive anymore and maybe have limited mobility and capacity to wait in line or even get to the DMV anymore. Um, proponents of this law say that Missouri provides non-driver's licenses for free, um, that they give rides to polls on polling day, and that the obstacles to actually getting valid photo IDs are not as burdensome as what the opponents would say. It is a case I know a lot of people are watching closely. Uh, Andrea McNary with Brown and Crouppen, thank you for helping us better understand the law and how it affects us. You're very welcome. Jeff Bernthal, Fox 2 News. And you can catch The Legal Lens every Wednesday evening right here on Fox 2 News at 6.